Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here of Concealer This, and today, as you can tell from my title, I want to take a few moments, take a moment, I want to take a few minutes and talk to you guys about trying to search and find and possibly locate a cosmetology school that is right for you. If you have made it up in your mind that you are ready to take the plunge and become a licensed cosmetologist, well, as you know, uh, it always starts with your educational foundation. And so I hope that um, my story will kind of help you guys. So you've made it up in your mind that you are going to become a cosmetologist and you are now starting to have dreams of becoming a world-renowned hairstylist or uh, the next top trending makeup artist that the world has ever seen, right? And you know this. This is, you, you need no affirmation from anyone else. You know that you are going to be the next big thing smoking at the Grammys, honey, okay? So after you have decided that that is something that you want to pursue, it is now time to do your research. So if, if I could give you any advice in trying to find a school that is right for you, the best thing to do is the World Wide Web, okay? It is amazing, have you heard of it? Um, <laughs> so get on the internet and type in cosmetology schools in your area. And once um, everything pops up for you, um, start narrowing down the schools that you think will be a better fit for you. I so will. once you have narrowed down maybe like your top five schools in your area, you want to call the campus and set up a tour. That is very important. You do not want to go, you do not want to base your school findings off of what someone else told you. Oh, well, I heard that such and such school was better. Oh, yeah, well, they don't do this. And and the kid isn't that and, and all of that. I mean, who cares? You need to go in and find out, you know, what works best and what school works best for you and what you mesh well with, all right? So you found your top five schools and now you've hit the pavement. You're sitting there with the campus director or the campus advisor or whomever you're meeting with, and it is now time to get down to the nitty and gritty. Do not, I repeat, <laughs> do not get caught up in the dream that they are going to sell you. They are going to sell you a dream. It is their responsibility to make sure that you come to their school and no one else's. It is your job to make sure that you do your research and do your legwork and find out what school is best for you. Um, one way that they really try to reel you in, and when I was trying to find a cosmetology school for myself, um, you know, they bring you this really big shiny uh, kit. They bring you a really big shiny kit and they tell you, look at all of this stuff that you get with your kit. Oh my God, look at your shears, look at your combs, uh, look at your blow dryer. Did you see this blow dryer? Check that out. Ooh, look at this brush. It's a, it's a different kind of brush. It's a brush that only uh, professionals use. And it's only, we only use it here at our school. You know, so they try to <laughs> reel you I in. would say to go to all of the schools that you've decided uh, to test out. And uh, not only do you sit down with the campus advisor, but you make sure that you ask questions. Ask what their um, attendance rate is. Ask what the, gradu what the graduation rate is. You can't say graduation today. Ask what the graduation rate is, okay? Find out uh, what type of students graduate from their program. What what do what do they do in the industry? Do they have any um, real life stories of, of people that have been that have become successful? You know, you want you have to do the work is really what I'm trying to drive home for you, for you. Do not just make an impulse decision because I can guarantee you that you are going to oh, regret. You know, after you've asked your questions, um, I would also ask them if you could possibly sit in on an actual class so that you can see how the instructors in interact with the students and vice versa. 
Um, you know, like I said, they make everything nice and shiny and they polish everything for you and they dust the the campus and make it look nice and pretty and they show you only what you only what they want you to see they do not show uh you know the behind the scenes if you will so if you go into the classroom and you actually sit there and, and watch you can see if it's a good fit for you um also and i would say this is the most important to go into the school on a saturday possibly book an appointment for yourself to get something done, you know, rather it be a manicure or pedicure or getting your hair, um, you know, cut or whatever. So, but go in and see how the instructors interact with the students in that type of environment, as well as how the students interact with the customers and vice versa, with the customers versus the students, because that, my friend, is a different ball game in itself. Um, Saturdays are very crazy in the salon. And if you go in there, it, you it you might find out that you don't want to be in that type of fast-paced environment because the salon atmosphere is very very fast-paced and very competitive all and right well the next thing that you want to do is to talk about finances because nothing works without the money okay so you want to see and you want to make sure that it's something that you can afford find out if there's financial aid available if you um are still living with your parents, then find out what options your parents have as far as um, providing for you with your um, with financial aid. And if all of that works out and everything comes together in a pretty little pie, my friend, you are ready for cosmetology school. I do want to say this to you though: cosmetology school is no joke. A lot of people kind of play it to the left a bit. Like they think that we just go in there and everyone's all like foo foo la la and oh my God, and all you worry about is your hair and your makeup and all of this stuff. And oh, all you have to do is do hair. All you have to do is do nails. Well, honey, let me tell you something. That is not an easy task. We are in the business of providing service and damn good service to customers. And we have to be top notched. So it is a very difficult field, a very mentally, physically straining field on you. And you know, once you start school, you'll start to realize that that it is it is not an easy field to be in. So, you know, don't let people discourage you in telling you that oh, that's not real school. You'll hear that a lot. Take it from someone who went to a university who went, you know, went to school for, for a number of years trying to pursue a real job and telling people that I've decided to go to cosmetology school and watch how they raise their noses up at you. What? You know, that's no real school, you know? No, whatever. Okay? It is accredited. <laughs> I pay financial aid just like you. You know, I pay my tuition just like you. It's a real school. So whomever those naysayers may be in your world, tell them to kick rocks, okay? School, cosmetology school is real and it's hard and it's fast paced. And um, so I hope that what I'm saying to you, even though I'm saying it very fast, I hope that I've helped you in some kind of way. Um, and I hope that you do pursue that career in cosmetology. I hope that you do become that huge hairstylist, that huge makeup artist that everyone is asking for at the Grammys, okay? Next to me, of course. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down at the comment bar below. And don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Peace.